He is not here, he is risen. The proclamation that broke out in this place more than 2,000 years ago still resonates from here to the entire world. This is why a great feast is celebrated today in Jerusalem's Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre more than ever and more than anywhere else. Around the ancient edicul that has preserved the place of the resurrection for centuries, a multilingual assembly celebrated the joy of Easter morning. Religious and lay people living in the Holy Land, the local Christians and also pilgrims having arrived from the most diverse places in the world, attended the solemn liturgy presided by the Latin part of Jerusalem, Monsignor Fouad Tual, also joined by Cardinal William Levada, Prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. All gathered together around the empty tomb, the Anastasis, as the Greeks call it, or Canasit al Kiama, the Church of the Resurrection, as the Arab faithful call it, who from today and throughout the Easter season will greet each other saying, Christ is risen, he is truly risen. <laughs> I wish everyone a happy Easter, while recognizing that the events in the Middle East threaten our region, our people, us Christians, casting a shadow on our joy, began the Patriarch in his homily. But now, he continues, we are witnesses of the resurrection, and we have no reason to fear or doubt. The tomb is empty, the crucified one is risen and alive, and all the difficulties and misfortunes that have stricken us and strike us again will not shake our faith, but will increase our perseverance, our sense of belonging to Jerusalem and to our church. The Patriarch especially urged a radical change of heart. Let us bury in the tomb of Christ our worldly inclinations, our religious divisions, our violence, our lack of faith and our fears. And he concluded, let us ask the Lord that the dream of peace that was born here may be realized in the Holy Land and in the whole world. The climax of the celebration is the procession around the rotunda, concluding the solemn mass, carrying the lectionary and proclaiming the gospel of the resurrection in four different places indicating that the good news that spread from here should continue to be proclaimed around the world until the ends of the earth. The Pontifical Mass at the Holy Sepulchre is a celebration of joy, but it is also a great ecumenical choir. The singing and organ music of the Catholic celebration is often confused with the chorus and voices of the other Christian Orthodox communities, Greek, Armenian and Coptic, who share the space and time in the Basilica at the heart of Christianity, and now celebrate their Palm Sunday. The ceremony of Santa Pasqua every year, but to arrive here to the tomb is the same. We celebrate Easter every year, but to be here at the tomb itself is a wonderful thing, despite the crowds and the chaos of noise. This is the place of death and resurrection of our Lord, and so it's a privilege to be here. Rappresenta il mondo della morte e risurrezione di nostro Signore, perciò è un privilegio di stare qui. Early in the morning, after a stop at the Calvary, the Italian Prime Minister Mario Monti, who is currently visiting some countries in the Middle East, attended Easter Mass inside the tomb. The Mass was celebrated privately by the Custos of the Holy Land. We ask Father Pizzaballa a special wish for everyone on this day of Easter from the Church of the Resurrection. Let us hope to be like the disciples who came to the tomb without having understood anything, although they had read the scriptures, to go inside and see only the signs, and from there to understand, believe, and fall on our knees.